because I'm sick of saying smileys. <laughs> Equals new. Okay. I'll just call it smiles. Okay, so we got that. And then in the load content, we're going to go, uh, we're going to add to. So we'll go uh, new. And then for position, we'll say new vector 2. And we'll put this at like 100, 100, 100. And then we'll put a reference to the content. And now we're going to make another. We can just copy and paste that, see? And just make a new. Now, like I was saying before, but you're like, wait a minute, Tim. In the smiley object, we're loading content right here. Isn't that going to take up more memory? And no, because that's the wonderful part about um, XNA. It manages that. It manages, it knows what's already loaded. So, name that private. Okay. Now, we're going to do, uh, do a for each right here. Object. And okay, basically this is our update. Now, now the updates where you want to put bulk of your code. You don't want to be doing heavily processing uh, tasks and the draw. And I'll explain that more why because it all has to do with uh, the tick rate, like how many frames per second you're getting. Um, the update has um, more priority over the draw, and it, it's kind of a weird balance, and I'll explain more about that, but let me finish this. So let's go, we'll put this, okay, we'll update it, and we'll use the game time in here, and a more explanation on the game time, the game time is like is like a tick counter basically and it has different uh like let's look in here we got game time we got elapsed game time elapsed real time is running slowly basically you can use the is running slowly bull to like determine whether you want to run a method or not like say you have a heavily uh processing uh method and if it's running slowly, you definitely want to skip that method. But, uh, you know, and then you can even go down to, like, milliseconds. Like, you come in here and you can go to milliseconds, do all kinds of stuff. And that's primarily for keeping everything in sync, especially if you have lag. So now we're going to copy this because it's easy. So we have our smiley update, and we have our smiley draw. So I'm going to put draw in here. I'm going to use the sprite batch. I'm going to reference this sprite batch right here. And that's one good thing that we don't have to, you know, we don't have to uh, mess with it. I mean, we don't have to mess with this begin end stuff. Okay, so let's try that out. Oops, I think I had some errors. So let's see here. And just as annoyance, it's kind of annoying that you can't see the mouse um, when you run it. So what you have to do, let's go in here. Let's say game, and we're going to say this dot. Um, let's look for it. Uh, let's see here. Is mouse visible? I'll say yeah. I mean, I mean, sometimes it's handy for debugging and things like that. You want to be able to see the mouse. 
Um, okay, we had some errors. So let me do the error list here. Okay, just a simple error. I forgot. I forgot to. Okay. That's good. Let's play it again. Now we should have two. Yeah, we got two. Now, I'm going to show you how to write some font. Okay? So let's make a sprite font real quick. Actually, I'm going to put this in the actual object, and I'm going to show you why. Let me see here. Let's go in the smiley object. Okay? I'm just going to call it something simple right here. We're not, I don't really want to think about it too much, but let's go. Okay, so we're going to say equals new. Okay. Actually, we need to add... Let's delete this real quick. We need to add a font. Okay, let's grab a font. And I'll go over it briefly, and we'll go uh, into more detail later. So let's go down to my documents here. I'm going to open this. I'm going to open up a notepad so you can just take a quick look of what this file is. Basically, it's an XML file. And you have different details right here. You have, like, what kind of font, you know, uh, 